One of the country's most controversial criminal cases has this morning been granted a hearing by the highest authority. Fifteen years after the murders of Eugene and Jean Thomas, convicted murderer John Barlow's lawyer has overcome the first hurdle in London, with the Privy Council agreeing to hear the appeal to quash his conviction. Liz Peranum reports. Greg King has defended John Barlow through three murder trials. Today his client was granted the hearing they've waited a long time for. We came here not knowing whether they would actually hear our uh, substantive argument, and they have heard it, so we're very, very pleased. You know, all we've ever asked for in this case is to have our day in court, uh, to have our case considered by judicial officers, and that's what the Privy Council have given us. John Barlow has already served the minimum 14 years imprisonment for the 1994 murders of father and son Eugene and Jean Thomas in their central Wellington office. He could be out on parole now, but refuses to admit guilt. Barlow's been denied the opportunity to have his appeal heard by the Court of Appeal in New Zealand twice, first in 2006 and later in 2008. New Zealand uh, system wouldn't give it to us. We, we tried for three and a half years to have our day in court in New Zealand and we declined. So, yeah, we're very pleased to have had that opportunity here. Barlow was convicted in a rare third trial after the first two juries were unable to agree on verdicts. King says the extra evidence in the third trial sourced from the FBI has now been discredited. At the end of the day, it's their opinion on how important that evidence was, how discredited it is now, and what effect it had on the, the outcome of the third trial. That's, that's why we're here. Convictions in the United States have been overturned as a result. King's hoping for a similar outcome from the law lords in London. Liz Peranum, 3 News.